Hey everybody, it's Mike again. And I'm Ben from findworkin4hours.com. So, here's a question for you. How do you go about generating repeat business? This is a question I might throw back at you. Because I started working for you for somebody else, right? Totally unrelated stuff, more or less, than what I'm doing now. And I still don't know what you do now. That's okay. You see, that's how, my, how good he is at running an agency. He doesn't even need to know what I'm doing as long <laughs> as I get the results. But seriously, there had to be a reason that I was able to I actually kind of quit, right? This was something that we talked about earlier. Didn't what? quit me. No, but I was not happy working in the capacity that I was. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> he it, applied for a project he possibly shouldn't have applied for. Well, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> But, well, I'll take it back because Ben doesn't seem to want to answer this question right now. Repeat business. I was just waiting for him to get to the point. But anyway, he'll answer the question <laughs> for you. Goes back to kind of some of the things with referrals. Uh huh. Do a good job. Uh huh. Communicate. Huge, huge thing. I've heard a lot of people get frustrated. Yeah, maybe the guy does good work, but if you're in the dark the whole time, and a deadline's approaching and you can't get them on the phone and you haven't seen the deliverables yet, mm -hmm. it's easy for an employer to start freaking out. Mm -hmm. It's not a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the repeat uh, probability, you do good work, you communicate well, it's pretty much a shoe in at that point. Mm -hmm. Correct. What would you add to that? I would really say that communication and informing what you're doing every day. Because if you're working virtually, you're unseen. The biggest fear for an employer is that you're saying you're doing something and you're out there on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You're on playing games, you're gone to golf. So the problem is, is that what most people don't understand is that people like myself and even the clients are under deadlines. Mm -hmm. That's why they're getting you to do the work. So if you say, it's going to be 24 hours. It better be 24 hours. Which um, goes back to under promise, over deliver. Exactly. So the thing is, is staying in communication is big. For example, I saw you and you communicated and you had potential and you said, look, I'm really not comfortable doing this job. I want to do blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I have some of that available. So I gave him something else and I said, all right, but you've got to replace yourself. Yes, that was, that was said, my task. You have to replace yourself, so you have to hire and interview this person. And if this person isn't good, it's your ass. And he did that. But what he didn't learn from that part... Was how to do it for myself. Was how to do it for himself. He just kept doing that for me. He kept finding people for me. I'm like, great, good. Because <laughs> I'm not finding these people. So what he was doing was finding people to replace him in tasks... Therefore, taking that task and that income away from you. Also taking the work that I didn't want. So for me, it was kind of a wash, but I'm learning. That's... He was like, I don't want that work. I don't want to do that work. Great. So he took it away and the income. So instead of possibly making an extra 5 or $10 an hour because you've got these other people doing these tasks, and a lot of these people still work for me. A year and a half later, two years this later. This is how Ben says thank you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and... And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. So you've got to be aware that, hey, if there's tasks you don't want to do, there's other people you can do it, and you can start being setting up your own freelance team, your own freelance agency. So one of the things is I think that people in this kind of industry do wrong is they think too small. They think of it as a job. Right. When really, this is their own business. It's even better than their own business because... There's no capital investments. There's no, you don't need an office. I have an office. I have resources. It's so, I can create a division of time. So work stays at work and I'm not working on the couch. But the thing is, is how do you get repeat business is by asking, by delivering, and by staying in communication and offering new services. Sometimes it's saying, hey, 
I know you're, for example, a lawyer or a law firm, and I know you haven't got your Facebook fan page yet. So would you like that? Would you like me to handle your social media for you? Would you like me to handle your weekly or monthly newsletter? So it's offering your client to do services that they may have forgotten about, they may hate doing themselves. Or don't even know that they want or need. Exactly. So just because they hired you to do X, Y, Z doesn't mean they want two or three other things on a regular basis. So that's a great way to get repeat business. So if you want to find out that and a lot more information, you can check out findworkin4hours.com findworkin4hours.com where we're going to teach you how to never be a victim of unemployment ever again. I look forward to seeing you on the inside and post a comment on this video below. We want to see what you think about it. See you there. Bye.